Hi, my name is Kevin Harwood, and welcome to another episode of Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Blake, and he asks, what should developers know about Apple Pay? Thanks for the question. Apple Pay is Apple's new payment processing platform and is poised to finally bring mobile payments into the mainstream. There are two distinct ways to use Apple Pay, in physical retail environments using contactless payment terminals with NFC, and using Apple Pay in-app for physical goods and services. In terms of using Apple Pay in physical retail environments, there isn't much here for developers to leverage. Apple has added NFC to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus specifically for this feature, but unfortunately they have restricted access to NFC, meaning developers will not have a chance to use NFC in their own ways. It's off limits. Here's hoping we can get access to that in iOS 9. That means for now, developers should focus on using Apple Pay within their own apps, creating a seamless, uniform payment system for users to make purchases right from within an app. Apple has already highlighted several applications that make use of in-app Apple Pay purchases, and I think the most interesting use case is with OpenTable, where users will now be able to pay for their meal directly in the app using Apple Pay without ever having to ask for the check or send their card back to the waiter. I think there are many other opportunities for developers to lower the barrier to entry for users to purchase items within your apps. And the fact that it's now a uniform system across iOS will encourage consumers to spend even more money within apps. Integrating with Apple Pay is pretty simple compared to what developers typically need to do if they are going to accept credit card purchases within their apps. They've partnered with several payment solution providers like Chase and Stripe to help implement SDKs built around Apple Pay to allow developers to get going as quickly as possible. And if it's possible for you to support Apple Pay, you should do it. Consumers are going to come to expect it. You can find out more information at developer.apple.com slash apple pay. Lastly, it's important to understand the differences between Apple Pay and in-app purchase. Apple Pay can be used for purchasing things like physical goods, hotel reservations, concert tickets. But if you're looking to sell virtual goods or subscriptions for digital content, you're going to need to stick with using in-app purchase. That's it for today's episode. Be sure to tweet your questions to hashtag AskAdev or leave them in the comments.